Hello my loves, thank you for joining me for another pick a card reading. Today's intuitive message is going to be based around the question, what do you need to know in terms of your finances? In the next clip you will be presented three groups and you must choose one intuitively. Feel free to pause the video to give yourself more time and then you can use the description below to find the timestamps and skip ahead to your reading. If you do not already follow my channel and this is your first time and you want to see more of this content, please leave a like below and subscribe to this channel and if you do not want to miss out on any new videos, please hit the notifications button as well. Now let's get on to the reading. Hello group number one. If you chose the king of coins, this is your group. We have the queen of pentacles in reverse, knight of pentacles in reverse, nine of wands upright, and the empress in reverse. And below here, down here with the circular oracle, we have the lily, which symbolizes spiritual love. I'm sorry that you can't really see the bottom, guys. We have beetle, which symbolizes good luck. We have a wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. Okay, guys. There's a lot of energy to unpack in this reading. I really feel like somebody from your past is now returning. It could be an ex-partner, an old friend, maybe a relative that you couldn't you maybe have not spoken to in a very long time, but it seems like you're putting a lot of focus now on that relationship and you're putting a lot of focus on that person's well-being instead of your own. The fact that we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is not very positive energy, guys. I will be honest with you. You need to be very aware of where is your time being spent? Where is your money being spent? What are you valuing and what things are you underestimating? Because because you're a very valuable person and your energy, your creativity, abilities, talents, intellect, whatever it may be, is valuable. And you know, there's somebody here, since we do have the wedge, someone is really trying to get in between you and your career, your finances. You were probably doing very well before, before this person came in. We do have the king of coins, so you were probably very grounded, you were very abundant, and you were very humble. However, somebody came back in. Maybe somebody saw that you were doing good on social media, whether or not you do post. You know, people do talk. When you are glowing up and you are ascending financially, spiritually, and with your appearance as well, people do talk. And it seems as though that, you know, all of this growth and all this progression has came to a halt. With the Knight of Wands here, it seems that you're kind of at a hesitation, as well as with the Knight of Pentacles being in reverse. You're kind of very confused on what to do next. And... You know, when you don't know what to do, guys, you know, my best advice to all of my clients is, and viewers is to not do anything. If you know that if you rush a decision and you're going to make a very bad choice, do not force yourself to make that decision very quickly. Give yourself a few days, a few weeks if that is available to you. But please just be mindful of your well-being and accommodate to your needs because everybody processes things differently. Everybody kind of handles stress differently. And it just seems like it's a little bit stressful when this person came back around because if this is a spiritual love, I'm very much feeling like a karmic energy came back and if you do not know what a karmic energy is or relationship is in the spiritual community it symbolizes a relationship that's brought into your life for you to for your tr your trauma to be triggered and then you will have to work on yourself and the internal pains that you kind of have unresolved prior to meeting this person now that this person has come back in, sometimes this does happen to test your commitment to yourself and your growth. Since this person did create some imbalance in your life, we do have a lot of imbalance in these cards. The fact that we have the Empress in reverse is very powerful. You know, your spirit team really wants you to think of yourself. They want you to be the receiver. It seems like a lot of the time you are always going after things. And for once, you are such an amazing person. You are so abundant. You deserve to just relax and let these things come to you you have done so much work am i right with the king of coins here you have done so much work spent so many hours on your business or just your well-being improving your mental health are you really gonna let this person come in and mess with your good fortune 
there's a lot of opportunities waiting for you to accept them and recognize them. Do you see with the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse? This woman is cherishing this pentacle that's in her lap. This is something that she finds to be very precious, something that is very vulnerable to her, but it's she's so grounded that she's so at peace with whatever comes to her. Right now, you do not kind of exhibit that energy and that's completely fine. But ask yourself, what changed your flow? Because before you were the king of coins, do you see this beautiful, powerful turtle? You know, slowly and surely you were working on yourself and do you see all of these roots here? You were grounding yourself, connecting yourself in so many ways in different aspects of your life, maybe connecting to other people socially as well. And maybe this person, the one that's creating this wedge, saw that and you know, really wanted to come in between you and somebody else. This could also be pertaining to love as well. We do have spiritual love here as well well and we do have for your angel answers is look for a sign with the nine of wands here this person has all of their wands lined up kind of like a fence kind of like a defense if you want to call it that as well and now they're just staring they're just observing as well as the knight of pentacles they have you know their energy in their hand they just don't know what to do with it next and you need to look out for the messages and signs that Sphere is trying to send to you. Ever since this person, this wedge has come in, in your life, you know, you're kind of confused now. And it's you're letting your past hold you back, if, especially if this is someone from your past. This, once again, I'm going to remind you, this could be a, com a test of commitment of how strong you really are and what are your priorities right now in your life. For your spirit animal, we have a sea turtle, which symbolizes protection. You are the master of finding life's flow. Be in harmony with the rhythm and your path will unflow, unfold, I'm sorry. Persevere and you will succeed. You have everything you need to be protected and happy. That's the beauty of the Empress here. She is sitting here so elegantly, just minding her business. She's so fruitful, so happy, so humble, and yet so powerful. With this energy, with this light coming out of her head, she is you know, so powerful with her third eye and her connection to spirit. That's why she is relaxing. She knows things will come to her. She's done so much work, just like you have. And you deserve to treat yourself with a lot of dignity and you deserve to give yourself a lot and you know, compensate for all the work that you have done in the past. For the message we have for your meditation, we have your soul is a reservoir for infinite energy, creativity, and intelligence. It can't possibly run dry. So if you've been a little bit hesitant that you're like, oh my God, I am wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. No, you're not. You just need to recognize that you're kind of struggling to handle a lot of things, a lot of responsibilities, a lot of thoughts, you know, overthinking, what, whatever, whatnot but you need to recover yourself you know eat a lot of food if you feel like you haven't indulged lately you know go outside and ground yourself you know relax sleep for hours take a big fat nap if that's something that you need to do or just lay on the couch and watch your favorite movie i know a lot of people a lot of people are probably finding this video probably have been working a lot probably stressing themselves out and you deserve to just relax for everything that you have done Okay, you're not going to keep working, working until a point that you run dry and then what, you know, you're kind of going to be at another crossroads of what are you going to do? So you might as well prevent that kind of situation now by relaxing, but ask yourself, what is holding you back? What about this person? What about this situation is so valuable to you? Because it may not be the person, but it may be the underlying message, the underlying reason or lesson behind their existence. Okay, guys. So that is the message that we got for group number one. Just be mindful of what is really important to you in your career. What is important to you in your life? What are you trying to manifest within this year, next year, and the year after? I always recommend to all of my clients to actually make goals, whether you want to do it, you know, for weekly, monthly, you know, halfway through the year or yearly, but it really does help to map out what you're trying to accomplish this year. So you kind of can weave out any distractions that you that may be present in your, re your reality, guys. So thank you so much for picking this group. We're gonna move on to group number two. 
If you chose the Six of Swords, this message is for you. We have the Three of Cups upright, Queen of Swords upright, Four of Wands in reverse, and the Page of Swords in reverse. And then at the bottom for the Tea Leaf Oracle, we have the dragon. Be aware of self-delusion. The casket, please don't be frightened by this, guys. Nobody is going to die. I know a lot of people who are new to oracle readings, they probably get a little frightened with that. We have someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. We have a finger warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. Please recognize that this is actually being pointing towards the page of swords. I did not put that there. I was shuffling the cards and they came out that way. So I left it there. So I'll just start with that because I just wanted to, you know, be the kicker for the reading. But the Page of Swords in Reverse talks about people around you could be gossiping around you. There could be some negativity being spread throughout the out around your career, with your coworkers, even your boss. But it seems like this is kind of creating a lot of instability within your finances. You might just feel really uncomfortable in the workplace here. And it's it, hopefully this person is leaving. Maybe somebody at your job is actually being transferred or they're quitting or they're getting fired, whatever it may be. But it seems like this gossip here is actually making you feel really uncomfortable. Maybe because they're talking about something having to do with the actual well-being of your finances. If if you're in a profession where sales are really important, maybe sales are going to be down this quarter, whatever it may be, but it's gossip. Please do not invest yourself in these kind of discussions, guys. With the Queen of Swords here, you know, you're a very logical person. You're very stubborn, I will definitely add, but you're also protective. So please utilize that energy when it comes to interacting with your coworkers or other people in the workplace because you just don't want to involve yourself with energies that are just completely irrelevant because everybody deals with life differently. You know, some people might find something a struggle and you find it completely easy or vice versa. Do not allow that to, you know, really stump your growth or just make you feel really anxious here because with the Queen of Swords and the Four of wands in reverse it seems as though that you know you're really investing yourself a lot into your business your company your position at your job whatever it may be but it's a little bit too much my love you know your spirit team is really calling out to you to relax and to enjoy all the abundance you have created in your life with the Three of Cups, it talks about celebration, having fun, going out with your friends, hanging out with your loved ones, people that you actually enjoy spending time with because when you're working all the time, you're focusing on your responsibilities, sometimes you kind of forget about social interactions. And it seems like maybe you have not gone out in a very long time. Maybe you even declined some offers when your friends want you to go out with them because you're so focused on your business. But like down here with the dragon, please be aware of self-delusion. You know, are you really investing in this energy are you really believing what your co-workers are saying because just because something might be struggling in your business doesn't really mean that's going to affect you it's things happen life is very unpredictable but how are you going to react to that it seems as though that your energy is kind of like disintegrating over time you know you're getting stressed you're really just uncomfortable you're confused you don't know if things are going to work out i just feel like you're at the edge of your seat right now but that's probably why you picked the six of swords here because we have like three messages talking about how things are going to get better here that's why we have the three of cups your spirit team wants you to celebrate they want you to you know open yourself up to enjoying life because when you relax and you let go of the outcome that is when the abundance starts flowing in okay with the four of wands in reverse symbolizes the same thing i know it's a little bit difficult to see but because the card is upside down but the people who are under this you know little structure is are actually celebrating they just got married so maybe there's a wedding coming up in your family or in your life doesn't have to be but it's just all about enjoying life celebrating the experiences that you have you just try to enjoy the little wins that you have like if you get one sale you know be happy be like wow congratulations you know say that to yourself be like i'm proud i did that don't gossip about yourself don't you know invest yourself in these energies and make you feel lower and more you know anxious more you know insecure about yourself and your abilities here I'm sorry guys that I kind of hit the camera 
But we also have Eagle, triumph over obstacles and troubles. You are going to be the predator. You are the predator. We have two predators here. I know the dragon may be not a predator, but they're very powerful. You know, they're huge. You know, they're awesome. I don't know what your favorite animal is. Please comment that below, guys. I would be interested to see your answers. But with these two energies here, you know, it's all about freedom, about flying, about, you know, kind of letting go of being so close to the ground and being overly grounded. I know a lot of people probably don't hear that too much, but when you are so anxious that you feel like you have to be grounded 24 seven because you feel like life is so unstable, that is not very healthy guys. And you need to ask yourself, why do you feel that way? Is it because of your job? That's completely fair. Well then ask yourself, how does that really, you know, relate to my personal life? When you come home, you are not at work anymore. I understand that your finances do relate to your personal life in terms of trying to support yourself, but do not allow those anxieties to really overwhelm you because then you're just gonna be more upset and you're gonna have more heaviness to you and you're just not accomplishing anything, okay? And once again, we have the Angel Answers Oracle. The situation will improve. Do you see this ascension here? We see the celebration, we see the Six of Swords. Things are getting better. I know things probably have been quite difficult lately. Maybe sales have been down. Maybe you have not been getting a lot of appointments at your job, whatever profession you may be in. But you need to focus on your well being. I feel like you're just so stressed out. And it's like your inner child, very much here, is calling out to you and asking you to. You know be aware of them be aware of your needs because it seems like you're prioritizing your job over your well-being and that's kind of not you know productive guys because of the fact that what if you're not here what if you're mentally not capable of doing your job what if you're physically not capable of doing your job you like I said before you're really not accomplishing anything okay and so for your meditation and affirmations message we have you are in the flow there are certain feelings associ associated with it. Being light, open, and fresh. Being in this feeling gently pushes out negativity and resistance. Once again, relating to the Four of Wands in reverse, when you celebrate your little wins, you're allowing more abundance to come in. You're feeling grateful for the things that you have and the things that you have done, and you're kind of learning from your mistakes at the same time. It's just being lighthearted about life. When you're really cynical and you're a pessimist, or you're just really, some people like to call overly realistic. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But at the same time, you're kind of pointing out all the negative things in life. You're just pointing out all the negative experiences and all the things you're struggling with. So right now, be grateful for the things that you have accomplished, for the things you do have in your life, for the people you do have in your life. Your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. All right, my love, I really do want to let you know that I feel like you're kind of only in the first half of your financial cycle because the first quarter is right before the full moon. Not right before, but if you knew about moonology, you know what I'm trying to convey here. But it seems as though that you're, ki you're kind of hitting a bump in the road to once again, to test your commitment to your job, but also test your commitment to yourself, to see if you're willing to sacrifice yourself for your job. And if you're willing to sacrifice your job for your well being, guys, you know, there is balance needed in life. You know, your job is very valuable, but so is yourself and so are your all, you know, your personal relationships and experiences. So just please be aware of what are you prioritizing and what things you have kind of been ignoring lately. If you're a spirit animal, we have the butterfly, which symbolizes rebirth, also transformation as well. That's the typical meaning. You can reinvent yourself open to the rewards of change. You have brilliance to share with the world. Love every part of your journey. It's kind of like the song by Miley Cyrus, The Climb. It's not about the destination, it's actually about the journey. Like I said earlier, you're half, not even halfway through this cycle. So there's still gonna be a lot of work to be done, a lot of time that has to be passed, but things are getting better. So please just be aware of that and trust that. Your spirit team would not be giving you this message on your YouTube profile if it was not meant for you guys. Okay, group number two, the last tea leaf that I wanted to finish off with on a good note is Money Path. 
A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Once you relax and you recollect yourself and your mind is more clear and your judgment is more open, you'll be able to figure out opportunities that maybe you were ignoring before. Like I said, when you're overly stressed, you're going to nitpick everything. And once you nitpick everything and you overthink everything and then you just become focused on too much, it's just really hard to think clearly. Am I right, guys? You know what I'm talking about. Comment below if you experience things like that and comment any advice that you have have for any of viewers watching this that would help to overcome these kind of situations but just relax be proud of yourself you deserve that if you have not heard that in a long time i want to say that to you i am proud of you i am very proud of you for being so resilient and working so hard in your job in yourself whatever you've just been trying to conquer lately you are working so hard but you're working so hard that I think at this point that you are sacrificing yourself. So please just be aware of that. Your spirit team loves you and that's why they're sending you this message, group number two. Thank you so much for picking me to be your intuitive reader. I can't wait to see you guys next video. Please subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Now we're gonna go on to group number three. Hello group number three. If you chose the fool, this reading is for you. So my love, it seems as though that you are very much on a new journey in terms of your finances and career. This is very powerful and probably really overwhelming energy. For your Moonology card, we actually did get that our emotions are running high and we have the chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. Oh, I'm sorry guys that I bumped the camera. It really seems as though someone in your life is leaving. It could have been a coworker, a boss, a relative, a friend, or even a lover. And I feel like that's what really forced you into wanting to create your own business. I really feel like you kind of lost a position in some sort of relationship, whether it was romantic, platonic, or business. But it seems as though that what that was actually a really big inspiration and a really big push for you to invest yourself in a new profession slash career. We do have the Page of Pentacles. You've been putting a lot of focus in the job that you have now, if you still are employed, whether or not, but you've been putting a lot of research into thinking about what other career you wanna be involved in. But at the same time, it's very overwhelming. With having to deal with this situation, whether or not it's a death, and if so, my condolences, but it seems as though that your inspiration is kind of like struggling right now. Your creativity is kind of struggling and maybe you're thinking too much with your head and not enough with your heart here and not enough with your heart here as well with the seven of cups because when you're deciding on a profession guys, it's really important for you to actually have some sort of emotional attachment to that job for you to feel constantly motivated to get up in the morning or at night, no matter what profession you have, to actually go and do your job. Because if you are at a job in an environment that you completely despise, you are probably not gonna wanna get up every single day to go to that job. You will do anything to get out of, you know, getting hours at that company. So that's what's really important for you to listen to your gut feeling. There's a lot of opportunities out there for you. You can do any job that you are willing to learn anything literally you can be a truck driver you can be a actress you can be a singer you can be a janitor you can be working in food service whatever you want you can apply that to anything if you want to be a lawyer too but you have to put in the effort but are you really going to be committed to those things you know seriously like would you really want to do that and if not then don't force yourself into a shoe that does not fit okay just like the, with the knight of cups you know don't really push an energy that is not meant for you that's why your speed team really wants you to listen to your heart you know think about what's logical with what are your talents what is your education in terms of your profession what would be the best kind of career for you but also think about and refer to yourself do you want to do that would you like that? Would it be fun? Would it pay well? Would it be worth doing all that effort to go to this job? Because some people would find it completely worthless to be a doctor and go to school for all those years, but other people who would love to help other people, you know, survive and to save lives, they would not find that to be at all a hesitation or a commitment. They would find that to be a part of the process. But do you see that everybody kind of takes life at a different angle? So just be aware of any situations that you are just kind of not thinking about yourself. You're kind of thinking about other people. 
Think about if this person that left your life, maybe you want to do something in tribute to them, like you want to, you know, maybe follow the same career path as them, whatever it may be. Don't force yourself into something that is not going to be it for you. You have a lot of worry about something that's kind of not there. You know, the mind is very powerful and the mind is very complex. So you just need to get right back to the basics. What are you good at? What job would you like to have? Do you like the food service? Do you like working in retail? Do you like having your own business? Maybe you wanna be an independent contractor. It seems like a lot of these energies are by themselves. So maybe if you wanna start your own business, what kind of products do you wanna sell? What kind of service do you wanna have? Just ask yourself all of these questions. And don't think that you need to cut right to the chase. That's a very important message here. Do not rush a decision. With the Page of Pentacles, your spirit team wants you to slowly progress. You are at the beginning. You literally are at the beginning here with the fool here. It's very interesting. But you are now listening to your heart. But then at one point, it seems as though maybe this person, this situation over here kind of got involved and it made you start second guessing yourself. What was your original plan? What was it? And why did you kind of divert yourself from that plan? Or why did you allow external circumstances to kind of interfere with that, okay? An emotional, secure, loving family is important to you. It's very, very important to have an emotional support system. I find it so interesting that it actually did come with the Knight of Cups right on, right on top of it because that is relating to having this emotional support system. People who are going to motivate you and you know be your cheerleaders and always tell you that you're doing well, but also to give you constructive criticism and always just to have your back when you need that kind of push because sometimes we're not going to have faith in ourselves sometimes we're not going to want to keep doing what we've been working on and when it's we don't when we have people around to tell us to keep doing that we're going to feel like we're doing it for other people not just for ourselves so i feel like that's really important even if you don't have people in your life your spirit team is counting on you here okay Please be assertive with yourself, like very much do the research, do the research, do research on yourself, do so much, you know, planning to think about what kind of career is good for you. Don't think about it so hastily. There's millions of jobs out in the world. And I bet that there's like probably 60% of them that you probably don't, you wouldn't want to do. So it's really helpful to rule those things out. So when you are looking for jobs, it'll just be easier for you to decide, hey, I want to apply there. But we do have emotions are running high, super moon. So if there's a lot of energy, we do have the seven of cups, you know, there's a lot of, you know, chaos going around your head. Do your best to release that, you know, especially, I know, you know, when external circumstances hit, you can't really do anything about it besides, you know, handle it. But that's what you should be doing, handling it. Don't make this decision about your career if you are kind of in this clouded vision right now because of somebody leaving your life. Maybe you have to like be a new like manager or like take a new position because of the person that left. That's the energy I'm kind of getting as well. You could be feeling like you're not enough, but you are. Your spirit team would not be presenting this situation or this opportunity to you if you were not ready. This is just trying to see if you're willing to take it. And for your spirit animal, we have the lion, which symbolizes higher calling. You have within you all of the courage you need. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. Once again, relating to this emotional support system, whether it's friends, family, or just coworkers as well. Just surround yourself with people who have the same or familiar goals. Guys, I'm so sorry I keep hitting the camera. Make noble choices for your life and for your tribe. Also be mindful of your ancestors. I don't know why that energy is coming up, but I'm going to share that message with you. See abundance as natural to life. If you believe in scarcity, you cannot help but live in fear. And for your affirmation on the back, if you'd like to repeat this to yourself, also you can comment this below. I am secure because I have nothing to fear in myself. Once again, going back to this courage, you know, you need to embody that Leo energy. You need to embody that strength that is meant for you to claim, okay? Like I said before, these situations would not be presenting themselves if you did not deserve it. So be assertive about the things that you want. Be assertive about the things that you also deserve. Be mindful of how much you should be charging when you go to an interview or when you're kind of setting up your business. Do not undercharge. Please be aware of that. That happens quite often. If you're very talented, you're very experienced, 
charge that my love you know put that out there believe in yourself be confident that you deserve to be treated that well and be paid that well okay group number three this is powerful energy but i know a lot is going through your mind right now a lot is going through your life right now so please just be aware of that be patient with yourself you're at the beginning of a cycle you're at the beginning okay so release anything that could be making you struggle a little bit more than you have to thank you so much for choosing me to be your intuitive reader please if you enjoyed this video leave a like below and if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to the channel and also click the notification bell so you never miss out on a video guys i can't wait to see you next video have an amazing day